I'll do. Time for another unboxing beer review. I don't know what you call it. Um, so it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video. I've just done a big order with Trembling Madness. Here's the box. So I, I picked up about 22 beers just to trigger the free postage. But I think I've done really well because I've got... The bulk of the beers that I picked up were all under £4. A lot of them £3.30, £3.40, £3.50. couple of slightly dearer ones just to, you know... In really interesting beers so i was trying to get as much as i could on this order for um for my money really but with cost of living and stuff i'm just trying to i was just trying to get buying bulk so i think i've done really well i've got 22 beers like i said well 21 for me one for the wife and um a lot of these beers or most of these beers will be what's appearing on the channel over the um forthcoming weeks so i'll get these out and we'll see what we get um so this is this one was from the tiny rebel um, birthday box set uh, this is their cold fermented ipa they've done um, a big box set for their 10 years and uh, this one's four and a half percent quite nice artwork on that probably going to run out of room for all these so um let's see what we get um so this is from brucey out of uh Bruce out of sweden and uh, this is their Mango Faber IPA, 4.2%. I really like these Nara cans. Uh, a lot of those Vava beers that I did recently on the channel were, were of a similar uh, similar design. So, um, got a one from Pomona Island. Killian is lying to you. Uh, table beer, 3.3%. Uh, that is Citra Cryo and Amarillo Cryo. Uh, this one is another of the um, Vava charity beers. This one is with Full Circle and it is their Ukrainian Golden Ale, 6.1%. I've bought that one purely because Untapped have just made Ukrainian Golden Ale a unique style. Uh, you, Untapped just changed all the styles recently, so I thought, right, I'm going to get that one. Uh, there's my wife's Steady Rolling Man. That's her favourite drink. So she said, just put, put one in for me, please. Being a good husband, I said, of course. Um, this one is a collab between Vault City and Northern Monk, and it is their Faith in Sour. That's coming in at 5.4%. Uh, From Colonel, um, Dean's just reviewed this one. Um, I need to watch his video. So from the Colonel, we've got uh, Dunkel. That's coming in at 4.4%. Oh, got some free sweeties. Uh, you always get some free ones. Uh, I've got Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge. So it's like a chew bar. Ultra sour flavour. Sour cherry flavour chew bar. There you go. Um, from Anderson out of Norway, we've got one of their dessert in the cans. This one is the chocolate peanut butter and caramel brownie imperial stout. That's coming in at 10.5%. So I picked this up. This is from uh, Lithuania. This is Valk Mergis. Creek, so it's a creek, and that is five percent. Bit different for the channel and for me. I've just I've tried to get a few different styles for these. Um, so another one from the Colonel. This is their Grisette Mandarina Bavaria coming in at four point seven percent. I think this was from Latvia. We've got a, I've got a Radler, Citrus Radler, uh, Zelta Radler, two percent. And this one is from New Bristol Brewery, and it's a collab with Size, who sell trainers, and it is Heavy Duty Beauty Double Dry Up IPA, seven percent. Mm. 
Another one from Brewski. Uh, this is their Grandmother Ghost, which is a ghost set, and it is mango, lime, and habanero. So, a bit different. What's that coming in at? 4.7. Been through those ones. So another one from Admonson. This is Choco Zilla, a coffee marshmallow and lava cake stout, and that's coming in at seven percent. Got a dunkel called Schremse. I think it's from Germany. And that's 4.6%. Another one from the Colonel. This is their India Double Porter with Mosaic, Nelson Sovin and Sabro, 7.3%. Got another of those Zelta Radlers. This one is the grapefruit one. So that's 2%. So they're all like just, you know, cheap beers. I think they were about, that one, those Radlers were about £1.60 or something, £1.80. Um, from White Hag out of Ireland, we've got the Dark Druid, which is a salted caramel pastry stout, 5.5%. Another one from Brewski. This one is called Buena Para El Papa Si No. It's an imperial stout with coffee, cacao nibs and vanilla, 11%. Cool, cool artwork on that one. Uh, and I'm just, are we there? Are we there? Just about there. Got a couple more to go. Um, from Daya, we've got the Hoppy Pills Lorien 4% Pilsner. Another one from Daya, we've got the Summer Ale. I've had the Galaxy one in the past. This one is the Strata one. And that is coming in at 4.5%. Um, another. Is it yeah. One more. We've got from Oscar Blues in America, we've got their Double Dales, 9%. I've had the Dales Pale Ale, it used to be in Tesco, so I wanted to see what the Double Dales was like. So that's my big haul, uh, quite a few beers there. So all of them, or a lot of them will be appearing on the channel over the next coming weeks. Um, I've done a pretty much pint, I filmed one this week at Kendall, but the sound was absolutely abysmal, so sadly that one won't be showing. Um, there'll be Friday challenges are back. We'll get the Friday challenges done, and um, hopefully I'll do some more um, out and about videos when I'm at the football, um, going to the pubs pre pretty much because people seem to like it. So um, there, my channel plans. Thank you for watching, and on to the next one. Cheers.